Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Star Maid here. So what's going on? Well, I've been playing a little bit of Star Maid and you're going to kind of notice something here on top. You'll see. See, you'll notice that something's closed right now. So I think I've done it. And we're going to show you. So I'm going to re-enter here this planet. And we're going to crash land here on the runway. Ah! Boof! <laughs> well, let's hop out of our ship. Let's pick this guy up. Uh, yes, I want to destroy it. Okay, so I, uh, you, if you notice here, I've removed the logic that was sitting here before. And I need to heal this stuff here. So these blocks that are damaged are from stupid pirates that have come into the system here and you know, shot up my plate here. So now that won't happen because I protected the whole zone. Um, I know it's kind of cheaty, but whatever. You know, we need a safe zone of some sort to work on. I know that with the factions you can get safe zone and blah blah blah. Well, we'll figure that out as we go. So anyways, this is the one runway we have. You basically will land on here. You'll latch on. And then you'll go all the way here. Which then you'll come to here and you'll turn all the way around. Under here is a switch that activates. Which then causes this to go sideways. So that way when you turn around you stay still. And then when you push the button again. Which would be through wireless means which is this one here if you push it again I should replace this here Th then it will cause all this to go straight and then our ship will be able to come out and go I do plan on putting in plex doors here into this entrance here and so that way whenever you push the button to go then the doors open up and then you're in you go then for the other aspect I want to create it like a a trigger under these red ones here that as the ship comes boom it opens up the plex doors and then in you come and then once it goes over here then I want it to boom trigger the plex doors again and so that way now it's closed or maybe delayed so until it turns around and then bang it's closed but anyways let's check this out this is the door <laughs> the upper door and there's also an elevator here and this ship is currently docked to the elevator. Let's go check this area out here. This is the crafting area here, which I have been using. Let's check this out. Um, what's this? Lucra. Producing carved Lucra. Oh, looks like we can't produce that anymore. Perfect. So what can we produce next? So let's go check out what we have here. So I've been producing you know, the carved stuff uh, here as I was working because I find that yeah, I can take this and sell it so we have 20,000 units so let's take 20,013 we'll leave about 500 here for using and there's only four capsules left but we still got lots of minerals which is good but we'll be able to get more lucra just by harvesting and let's see here so yeah so let's check this out so we're going to try this thing out here so basically what i've done up here is i've created these sensors or well not sensors these are the inner ships uh, remotes and you can rename them by putting or hitting r on them after you place them so what i've done is i've hooked i placed these wireless logic modules or yeah your wireless logic modules i placed this one right I, I then place the button and then I place this inner ship remote and I've connected this with the button and then the button with this as well as the inner ship remote and then the inner ship remote I've connected with the button and the reason for that is so that way it deactivates with the button and activates with the button so when this is triggered then this so when this is pressed then this will all be triggered and then it will automatically turn off and then what the, uh, what happens with this one here is it goes down to this wireless which then triggers this mechanism which there's a little timer in here so what will happen is this goes to a flip-flop which then activates 
this set of logic which opens up the doors and then if you press yeah yeah sorry and then after two seconds then this will go up and then we'll be up top there so yeah so I would view out of the ship if I could if I I don't even know let's see here if I press and hold the shift I can kind of go backwards but how do you rotate left or right around the ship so you can view it do you press like one of the keys uh, <coughs> excuse me you press one of the keys if you could tell me how to control the camera after you once you're in your ship that would be great but let us do the elevator so I'm gonna press it and watch up above <coughs> and it's not working why is it not working let's try this again okay um, what happened why is that not is that not triggering the switch so if I press the button let's see here ah but that's not triggering notice that that is so weird so let's go back down I'm noticing a little bit of lag as well so I'm not too sure why that would be the case let's just kinda do some no which will trigger the flip flop Oh, look at this. I'm noticing these little kind of glitches that are happening in the game because of the server load and this. Look at that. We were just down here and this wasn't the case. Now it is. So, yeah, I will be right back. Okay, shit. I know what that was. That was the salvage beam and it ripped. <laughs> it ripped straight through. And created this this hole. <laughs> oh shit, man, that's that's dangerous. So let's fill this up here. Uh, let's see here. One two, one two. Okay. So I'm gonna have to rebuild this one button here to show you the wondrous achievement that I made. That is crazy. Where is that going up like that? There's like a hole in here. That's cool. Well, I'll have to check that out maybe one day. So, let's see here. So, what we need to do is we need to replace this button right here. Let's see if it remembers where it's linked to. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to hop into the build block here. And we're going to fix this mess. So let's go over here. Okay, so up here is something that th this needs to be hooked up to this, I think. V. Do that. Let's put this back. Okay, and I think this one as well will need to be hooked up C to V. Okay, so that way that works out there. And then we're going to have to remove this block here. And we have to make sure we hook up this guy with the, this guy. Okay. Now, if we replace that block. Okay. So... Now I think it's going to work. So let's just double check that here. So if I activate this, there we go. That's what we're looking for. So that stupid beam I, I, I fired ripped a hole through our base. That's hilarious. Man. Okay. And now let's close the doors. Perfect. Looks like everything's working as it should. Doors are closing. Beautiful. Okay. Let's hop out. And it throws me on the roof, which is kind of funny. Now, the only thing with the roof up here is we got this stripe up here. I don't mind it being up here. I wish there was a better way of hiding this roof, <clears throat> but that's okay. You know, if we could have angled, like, grass blocks and stuff like that, that'd be kind of cool. So, let's see here. So, let's try this again. 
So we're going to hop into our ship here. <laughs> okay. And you're going to look up top there. It's got a build mode. Let's go into the first camera here. Let's shift back. Okay. You're going to see up top there. So we are going to activate the elevator switch. It's like it's not hooked up. So let's hop out of that. Let's see here. Okay, so this one, if I go C, and then let's go, let's go V. And then if I go C, let's go to this logic here, and then we go V. Okay, so those are connected, supposedly. All right? Right. So now, if I'm not in the ship and I trigger this manually, what happens? The door is open, the ship goes up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's make sure it passes that point there so it triggers that. And then if we press the button again, it should all come down. Yeah, after two seconds, beautiful. And then it should trigger, that will trigger the doors to close, okay. So, so far, so good, right? All right, let's hop in. Okay, shift, uh, just so we have a better view. Okay, now let's give it a shot. Boop, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, corny music, but hey, here we go, here we go. This is it, guys. Oh yeah, now we can just undock bang and up we go look at that now the pads ready for us to to land on so it's kind of obvious now we also have the other pad here so let's give this a little test go let's see what this looks like so i haven't tested this one here but i tested that one so i've done the runway in a way let's go shift to stop i've done the runway in, uh, in a way where if you were to be on this see so if you aim on the red then you'll trigger it. Now it doesn't really matter where you land on this strip, but I will put a trigger on the red one, so anywhere after that you don't want to land on. So let's see here, it's bang. And then the ship should carry on. Let's just let's zoom out here a bit. <coughs> should carry on in and twist around. Watch the world, it's gonna go dizzy. I've never tested this. So I also have it where it'll trigger a switch and it will it doesn't stop it though shit huh it see that didn't you behave exactly as I expected definitely not so how do we fix that wow well, let's just just hop by the ship here see what kind of damage this is <clears throat> well it's it, it's spun around but I don't think it got stuck I just think that I might have hooked up something wrong now to release out of this I hope that that wireless is connected to this wireless it should be um, let us Pick that block up. Let's kind of hook these up just in case. So this should be the elevator, or the runway, yes, okay. So if we go C, and then we go V, and then we go C. Is that, will trigger, I think, the switch underneath there. So let's just hook it up with this wireless again, V. Okay, so those are tr connected, which is nice. Uh, let's see here. Anyways, the logic I'm working on in the base here, as you can tell, this is kind of what I was working on. I was working on you know, this whole system and the doors. I like how the doors look there and how they're retracted. That's pretty cool. Um, I do want to put a floor in here of some sort. <clears throat> and I'm thinking of putting logic on the bottom of this thing so that way when you land on the ship or on this it will automatically drop down here 
and then you and then you'll just need the button to you go back up top and to fly away so yeah so a short episode of course again to, uh, this time uh, you know I still need to go mining do some harvesting runs I still need to collect actually I do have enough material here I have 20,000 carved lucra so let's go and take our ship and see what we can get so what happens yeah my ship won't fit out of here because if you notice it needs to turn around some more so we'll have to manually get it out of here and we'll have to reset everything I think so let's see here if we go like that to undock how about if we go five to click on that okay and then now we should be able to everything should be facing the right way I think <clears throat> whoa whoa yo dude come on I want to get out of here ah what's going on here okay let's hop out So the ship didn't spin for some reason. Okay, that's still... I have a feeling this isn't hooked up to anything properly. I think it, it triggers it, but doesn't do anything, which sucks. So let's... We need to get out of here. Let's back out. Okay. <clears throat> so let's kind of hop out here. Whoa, shit. <laughs> this is so stupid the physics here like really okay well anyways let's run over here let's see what the state of this stuff is here yeah so okay I might have this going the wrong way I might need it going the other way so that way when the ship comes it turns but it only turned yeah, I might have to add more turning things in there. I do have a bunch of activation modules in here, but I don't know if they're turned on. I don't think they are. They don't look like they are. So let us kind of pick this up, pick this up here. Ah, shoot. Well, that sucks. So how do we? How are we going to do this, folks? Okay, this is how we're going to do this. We're going to go underneath. This sucks, but... <clears throat> okay, that's one. So 45 degrees for each one, right? So... 45, 90... Uh, so we need four of them, I think, for 180? I think that's what these are for. Okay. And now if we... Grab our rock here... I was going to end it here with with some selling. But I think we're going to try and fix this problem. Let's see here. Let's kind of go up. Okay. So let's put the tect. Carved tect. Which just looks like asphalt to me. Okay. And then we can put the grate or the metal... A grill, whatever you want to call it. Put it right there. Okay, now. Yeah, see. So this one needs to be hooked up to the one that triggers that thing to go straight. Which should be this thing, I think. Alright, so. If we hook in, I think this one with this one, let me do that. Yeah, okay, it triggers it all that way. And then if I hit the wireless again, now it's all reset back to facing in. 
Okay, so let's give it another shot. And then we'll go sell. Because <laughs> I want to conquer this one on screen with all of you. So let us check this out. Ah, oh, oh, come on. Okay, fly straight. Stop. Okay, where are we? Okay. Let's latch on. Bang. Okay, let's see what happens, folks. Come on, come on, come on. We want it to turn around. We almost need some intense music here. Am I going to turn all the way around or no? Or am I going to stop? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, mother fricker. Shit, so that doesn't work again the way I expect. So we're going to have to rewire that somehow and work on that. So let us unhook here. Let's turn around and just get out. Come on. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Ah, what am I stuck on? Okay, let's see here. Let's make it go straight. And let's do this. Up we go. Okay. Hooey! Folks, there we go. That is our ship. Let's get inside. Uh, let's turn the radar jammer on. Okay, let us go right into our ship now here. Okay. So let's go to the shop. I don't care how much the goods are worth. So let's just travel to this shop. Okay, plot path to currents. Let's go. Okay, so, so yeah, so this whole kind of door runway project and everything seems to have worked. Um, I think I can reset everything like this. So if I click on that, that should reset everything. I hope. If not, oh well. Let us. I'm going to take this some of this. I think this is Lucra. And that's the stuff we ran out of. Uh, let's see here. This is, oh, there's some stuff in here. I, I have no idea if these regenerate or not. So I'm just going to take what I can from this one here. Oh, that's a lot of stuff inside this. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. Uh, that looks like a little face there on the side of the <laughs> the asteroid. <laughs> uh, uh, let's just kind of do random marks into it. Yeah, okay, no. Let's carry on to this guy right over here. Okay, so let's sell all our components. Let's see here. now we can sell so I want to sell 20,013 carved lucra right Oop. Uh, try this again carved lucra so terrain mineral carved lucra sell amount 20,013 so it should be looks like what 700 20,000 credits? Yeah, okay, I got 2 million credits. So now we'll be able to buy one of those dialect uh, stations and we're going to work with that because I have a little special request from Astro Girl. So, yeah, so we're going to definitely check that out and and see what it's like to, to buy or to repair an old uh, derelict station. You maybe we can harvest it for materials. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. So let us fly back here and let's try landing our ship on top of the pad. So where is our plate? This is the fun part about leaving your planet. It's trying to find your plate again. I, I I need to create kind of something on the edge of the plate so that way that's like lit up with lights or, or or something so when you're flying around like this you'll be able to pick it up you know problem 
me by the edge. Let's see, let's see. So yeah, so how have all you been doing? You know, I haven't been able to really edit too much. So I've been kind of trying to edit and trying to upload a whole bunch of footage to get ahead in the queue a little bit. Uh, there we go. There's our good old runway and our good old landing pad. So now we're going to try the landing pad here. So let us get closer. So I kind of made the lights different on there on purpose. Let's see here. Let's see if we can do from this distance. No, got to be a little bit closer. Come on. Bang. And there we go. Now we pick the elevator button. Watch this. And after two seconds, we should go down. And then slowly the doors will close up, up, up above us. See? You just saw it change. And now we're down here at the bottom of our place. If I hit R, we're outside of our ship. And voila! Here we go. Let's see what this looks like. So I pushed the button to activate it that way. So let's push this button again. Which, which primes it. Okay, perfect. So at least it's working somewhat. Let, ooh, let's place these guys down. I'm going to have to double check the whole turning mechanism thing. It's not working as I expected, but it is working. So I have a feeling some of the stuff isn't hooked up with each other. So maybe that's why. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.